Hi and thanks for joining. It's a meet from Unlimited Elements and in this tutorial I'm going to take you through step by step how I create a masonry post grid using the widget creator. As you can see I got my HTML and CSS set up and what I want to achieve is a post grid so we're going to make a loop out of posts and each post is going to be a tile in the grid and what's nice about it is that each image can be a different size which is very popular in web design right now it's called masonry I'm sure most of you are familiar with it so to get us started and uh, what we're going to do is we're gonna jump into WordPress go into unlimited elements which is a free plugin for WordPress we're going to want to be in the correct category which is post grid in our case and click add widget we're going to give that widget a name so I'm just going to copy the name from here since I already have it set up and it's called responsive masonry post grid click tab to enter in the widget name and add widget to add the widget perfect so we've already got a new widget inside of WordPress and to edit it and so we can start using it I'm going to double click to insert the widget creator framework and we can choose an icon this icon is going to show uh, inside of WordPress let's go for maybe image perfect so that's going to be the icon inside of WordPress of the widget and the next step is jumping into the HTML and we want to copy our HTML I'm going to copy it and paste that and I'm going to copy and paste my CSS perfect so we got that set up and next part is adding a post list so to add a post list I'm going into attributes add attribute I'm gonna search for post list let's give that a name post list simple as it is tab to insert the name and over here we need to look for one of our posts so I'm just gonna select one of them from the posts that I already inserted inside of WordPress and in case you're, you need to use custom fields or categories you can select these I don't need those so I'm just not gonna select them click add attribute and jump back in to the HTML over here in the HTML um, what we're going to do is we're going to create a loop each item each post is going to be an item inside of our grid so as you can see our items are a tags and I've marked them by end item so we don't need more than one right now so I can delete all the rest and leave only one and that one I'm going to take copy it and paste it down here in the item HTML item HTML means our loop so this is going to be looping uh, in the same amount as posts that we have set up perfect so this is looking good next step inside where our loop was we need to tell the widget creator that he needs to create the loop so to do that over here on the right side we have an attribute that's called put items a function that's called put items so what that tells us to do is to create our loop perfect so next step down here and as you can see there are all sorts of fields we need a link to the post we need the image of the post the title and the, the text so let's see what where we get these fields are from we get them from the post list over here on the right side you can see the post list let's open that and see what it consists of so over here is the image let's select our current static image from the HTML 
and replace it with a dynamic image coming from our post grid loop. Perfect. Next one is the link. The one after that I'm going to do the title. And the last one is our post text. I'm going to use intro text and not all the content of the um, of the post because the content will be too long. So the intro is just a couple of uh, characters uh, at the beginning. Perfect. Let's click update to save. Before I'm going to test this, I want to change. Okay, you know what? We can test this already. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going into pages. And add new. Edit with Elementor. And over here on the left side where we can search for widgets. And I'm going to look for masonry. And we're going to drag our post list inside. How cool is that? Perfect. So now uh, what we need to do is we need to add some more settings. By the way, all the settings that um, decide which post to show are over here under the accordion query. So you can see you can select post source, post type, and uh, you can determine if you want to exclude something or change the order right now it's ordered by post ID so you can change this by title or by date if it's a blog probably you're going to want to change it by date so all the options and you want are over here next thing what I want to show is how to add some settings to this widget so we're not going to do all the settings right now just going to do a couple of them. First setting I want to do is uh, change uh, or give the opportunity to change the background of this overlay that's showing on hover. Not everyone is going to want a black overlay. So to do that, let's just save before. Going to jump in back into the uh, widget creator. Inside of attributes, add attribute. Going to add an attribute uh, which type is color picker gonna call it overlay color and the default is going to be a bluish kind of dark color add attribute inside of the CSS I need to find this part of CSS so let's scroll down I think it's called uh, content perfect found it and we need to replace this static CSS with the new attribute we've just added. And another thing I want to do is I want to be able to determine how many columns our grid is. So over here you can see column count. We're using column count to determine how many columns there are. And I'm going to add an attribute that's called desktop column amount. And it's going to be a number field since an amount of columns is a number. Suffix we can change to none and the default value is going to be 3. Back to the CSS and we're going to replace this static 3 with our new attribute we just created. So click update. By the way we can take off the max width over here. It's not necessary anymore since we're using Elementor and we want it to take the full width of the column that the widget is inside. Now I'm back in Elementor. I want to check that my attribute that I've added is working. I'm going to click on the widget to edit it. And now we can see desktop column amount. We can change this to whatever value we want. Look how easy and fast this is happening. So perfect. We got the desk desktop column amount. And now we need to add a, a column amount for tablet and mobile. So that's how I'm going to finish up this tutorial. I'm going to duplicate the attribute twice and change it each time. The first time it's going to be tablet column amount. Default is going to be 2.
and the last one is going to be mobile column amount and what's nice about this is you have the flexibility to change the media queries uh, meeting to your standards perfect so we got desktop tablet and mobile now I'm going into the CSS and I can replace the tablet one and the mobile one so for the tablet one I'm gonna place the attribute and for the mobile one now we can test it back into Elementor refresh let's save refresh click on the widget to edit it and we have tablet amount over here uh, set to 2 let's change it to 3 just to test this out in the Elementor settings I'm changing it to tablet and you can see now on tablet view we have three columns uh, so let's change it to two let's change it to one to see that's working perfect let's go into mobile view and in mobile view to see it's working I'm gonna change it to two it's working perfectly so you can play around with that of course you can add as many attributes as you want for example for the gap the margins uh, font sizes everything you need and that's about it if you have any questions please post them in the comments and uh, if you have any suggestions please uh, contact me or also write them in the comments or write me an email and uh, thank you for joining and see you next time